Hello everyone, my name is Mark and today I'm going to do a showcase of my Thomas and Friends haul. So let's begin. Let's start off with the first item. So the first item that I have here today is this Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway Barry Power James. Now this is a very old model. I got this at the flea market with the rest of the stuff today. I'm going to show. And yeah, it seems to be in decent condition, but I don't know what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to open him up for the very first time. Here. I hope there isn't a battery in, in this dead. It's like corroded or something, because that wouldn't be very good. This is pretty difficult to open up this specific screwdriver. Oh, okay, we have a Duracell. Oh, actually, it doesn't seem to be corroded. I don't know, is this rechargeable? Um... And uh, you can't recharge this battery. Thankfully, it hasn't corroded. And the battery section seems very clean. Let me plop in a new battery. Let's see if this one works. Hmm. It doesn't really seem to be working. It's kind of unfortunate. It actually goes forwards and backwards in case you didn't know. Like on the old models. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to make this model like come to life. Well if it's like on the middle you can free reel wheel this model by a bit. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be working. I don't know how to fix this model. I don't know how these guys work. These guys work. I don't know maybe the battery needs to be replaced. Hold on. I'll come back with a different battery to try again. Okay, I came back with a brand new battery that is charged up. Let me see if it looks with this now. Mm, doesn't seem to be working. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know how these models work, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, this James doesn't seem to be working. I mean, I don't know what the problem is, dude, because, like, as you can see right here, like, the battery terminals are in very good condition. I do not know how to fix this guy up. I don't know what the problem is with this model. So, oh, well, I guess. I cannot find this guy's tender over at the store or at the flea market where I bought him. But it's not too big of a deal because I do have a wooden railway James model around. I actually do have a regular wooden railway, James. I'll bring it out real quick. Now, right here, I have brought out my wooden railway, James model that I have. Now, this is unfortunately the one where they had these creepy and ugly looking faces, but oh well. But this guy does have a tender, and it doesn't look too bad with this James model, although, although this. Uh, James model was just the shape of Thomas paint up his James. So yeah, I think it looks a bit better without the tender honestly. So it can, there's a little comparison as we can see the shape is very different. It looks practically nothing like Look nothing alike really. I can't say anything else 
like nine the wheels are the right color but i mean i do find this model interesting at least this guy actually had like painted buffers and such and the little running board and i really do like that little detail that they added there so yeah that's it for this james model I'll, i hope i can repair it somehow on the topic of wooden railway i also got wooden railway harvey now th i did clean these most of these models up before i started recording so yeah he was pretty dirty before but now he's a lot looks a lot better now this guy was very cheap i got him for like t about a dollar or something so yeah now this Harry is in decent condition. I have to fix cleaning him up. He looks really good. There's still some like dirt on the side of him, but oh well. Now he has a rotation right here. This little this piece, this crane can ratchet around 360 degrees. And the the crane arm itself can move up and down like this. And there's a little extra little cog right here, but that doesn't move. And the little magnet here moves a little bit. And well, let me just test this out if it works. I'm not testing it out yet. And it doesn't really seem to be working. There you go. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works pretty well. So yeah, this Harvey model was pretty nice. And, well, for comparison, I have the only other Harvey model that I have, which is this Tomy version. Now this one is, I honestly prefer this one because I like the size and I don't know, like, I like the proportions of this Harvey over this one. I also like the color. It's like this very dark brown, this Harvey, whereas this one is like this maroon color i think and he also has his side rods and such now unfortunately this guy doesn't really function i mean this crane does ratchet 360 degrees like it doesn't bend down and it, he can't attach to anything i mean it kind of stinks but oh well i don't mind it that much uh, next up we have at the same place that I bought that Harvey model, I also got this Thomas model. Now I do not know the name of this Thomas, I can remember someone talking about this model, these types of models, but unfortunately I cannot remember the name of this model, but it's actually very similar to an Erdo model. Looks pretty similar to that. Like the couplings are kind of similar, and like the side rods are what mainly scream Ertl, as in the way they are made. And I actually also have a Donald model, which is probably from, I believe, the same like brand, like the same type of engine. Like it also has this type of coupling, that type of side rods, and it can attach. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see. But on the topic of Erdl, I, today I also found an Erdl Thomas model. As you can clearly see. This guy is in very good condition. Like the only real damage this guy has is like a little bit of damage on the top here. On the bunker. And near the bunker. No, on the top of the cab. The funnel has some damage on the dome. And he's missing the little buffers. But everything else is in very good condition. Yeah, I really am happy that I picked up this Thomas model, but you can see that these guys are kind of similar. I mean, it's sort of loosely similar, but I mean, like the proportions kind of. Oh, this one's kind of chunky. The side rods, you can see them right there. And this guy's a, quite a bit smaller than this model. You can go to the couplings, how similar they look. I don't know that. Actually, it doesn't have little back stripes here. It's interesting. And to compare this Erdo Thomas, I have a take along Thomas. Now, these guys are actually like the same height. If you pull them up like this, 
They are the same height, it's just that the wheels on the take along models are much bigger than the Erdl's. This came after Erdl. Erdl Thomas is, I mean, it's shorter, but I do to the wheels. He's actually quite a bit longer, and his proportions are pretty good. Whereas this one's all kind of squashed up. Oh well, I don't mind this. Anyways, the next one is um, Adventures. It's Percy's mail card. I got this a while ago, actually, with the next item as well. Uh, so, one or two weeks ago, I was just waiting to get a couple more models to make the video longer. Oh well. Like, I got this very cheap, like le half a dollar, or close to a dollar, sorry. And yeah, it's in perfect condition. And it works well for my Adventures Percy model. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this mail car. And the other model that I got a while back was this Egmont Airy. Now these Egmont models are kind of like take long and take and play. Like an Erdl, like they're kind of like these two here. So like these guys were made of plastic and they fit on that track. These guys do actually connect to adventures, but I need to file down the coupling on the back here. Because it was kind of thick and it will like uh, damage the couplings of the adventures models. So there, that's why I filed that piece down. Getting close to the end now, we have a little trouble, uh, Blue Mountain Quarry Truck. Now, I actually do have another one of these right here, but I just bought this because like, I wanted to have two of these because like, the, I have two of the Fisher Price Blue Mountain Quarry Trucks and I decided to get the same thing with the Trackmaster 2 models, so yeah, they look great together. And the last item that I got at the flea market was this beaten up Tommy Percy. Now this guy is in pretty a bad condition. It doesn't seem to be very good condition. Like I did like clean him up a little bit. Like I washed him. But yeah, I didn't really do much. Honestly. So yeah. I do have a little Fisher Price Percy model right here. To see the differences between these two. Like, dang, this one's very beaten up. Like, there's a big chunk of the cab missing. Like, the little bits on the side are broken off, and it's all the back coupling is all chewed, chewed up. Yeah, and it doesn't look too good. I don't know if this guy works, like he had a corroded battery and his battery terminals are pretty damaged. But I will try him out just in case, who knows, maybe it works. No, it doesn't seem to be working. A lot of gunk in the wheels and such. Like, I might do a repair video of this model as well, like with the Tommy lady, but I'm not sure. But if that's gonna happen, heck, I'll try. So that was all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all next time. Bye.